Hey everyone, it's Chaz here. I'm going to do a quick video on how to obtain photos for your posts. Um, I, I highly recommend that you use some decent looking photos. Um, you, you could, couple, there's a couple different tactics you can go to. Um, whether you want to modify them and add some type of call to action right on the photo itself, which is definitely a viable strategy. Now, I'm not going to show you that, but you could always use a tool like Uzine or even a regular just the picture editor, the standard editor on Windows. You can add some text right there. That's some call to action. Um, but you definitely want to use real photos, right? You want to, you want to use something that's going to draw the user's attention, make them stop, take notice of you. You don't want to just use some, some words on a background. Like that doesn't do it. Use an image as well, right? People tend to be visual, so I hate anything that doesn't allow you to actually upload a real image. So saying that, where do we find some images and how do we do this? Well, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to go just do a Google image search. So I'm, I'm working with a location in Baltimore. And if we click on tools, Let me just show you that again. You're going to click on Tools, Usage Rights, and you're going to click on Labeled for Reuse with Modification. That's going to give you images that you can take. You can then flip them, crop them, recolor them, save them as unique images, right? And they become unique images. So I know the image size I need is 740 by 520 minimum. So I'm going to just start downloading some of these. So you got to open it. I'm going to save them into my file here. Whoops, went too far. I'm going to grab a couple pictures of the city. Nice skyline. I mean, ooh, this is a good one, right? That's That'll stand out. And again, I'm looking for stuff that's going to stand out and be personal to my clients. Like when, when they see that, they know I'm talking about Baltimore. They know I'm talking about Baltimore. This one's a good one. Like there's no doubt I'm talking about Baltimore when you see this. So I grabbed a couple of the city, and depending on type of business you have, you may want to grab more or less of the city. Here, how about this? That's a good one too, right? All right. So I grabbed a couple of the city. I'm going to do the same thing with my niche. So I'm going to do a, a listing here with that's in the online marketing space. And again, just labeled for reuse with modification. All the images you need are right here. Like you don't have to go spend money for images. Uh, 740 minimum by 520. That's a ping image. We're going to try to use mostly JPEGs, but a ping every now and then is fine. Let's see what this one looks like. JPEG. This one. That's a good one. I like that. That really stands out too. That's a for a free image. Oh, it's not big enough. Darn it. That would have been a great one too. It's just a little bit too small. That's a great image of it, man. That would really stand out in a post. Um, That's pretty cool. That stands out pretty well. Oh, that's a SVG. I should have saw that. I missed that one. That's another ping. 
not going to do too many pins. I think that's a decent amount. Now, obviously, I could go through further and grab a whole bunch more, but trying to save time for the video. But I, there are a couple of decent images on here. I mean, they, a couple of these things are really going to stand out well. All right. Now, what else do I have? I had a couple other images that I had used previously. I can take these. I can flip them. I can crop them a little bit. I can do a little bit of stuff to them. Again, reuse images. I'll have a nice little image collection here. So let's go ahead in here and I'll show you how to crop or do one of these. I'm just going to edit this one with photos. So flip it. You can do a custom aspect ratio. Let's see what happens when we do that. Or square. What's that? That's original. That's cool. We'll do the widescreen. You can crop and rotate. You can do some adjustments. Filters. Let's filter it. That's pretty cool. I think that'll stand out nicely in a post, right? I'm just going to save this one. That looks pretty good. All right? Simple as that. I found my image and I made it unique. Now, I, I didn't take off properties and I didn't rename the file or anything yet. I'll do that in a second, but let's do another one real quick. We can edit it. photos. Again, I like to flip it. Uh, that's not going to work. I'll change the aspect ratio on this one. Let's see what it looks like. That looks good. We'll do some adjustments. Make it darker. Maybe do a little filtering on this one. That's pretty cool. We're going to save this one. All right. So I, I made these image is unique. Next thing, I, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and remove the properties from them. Now I'm not going to go ahead and do all of these because I'm on a video, but I'm going to grab a folder full of unique images that are going to pop on my post, right? And then the next video will go ahead and actually optimize the image itself quickly. Uh, let's go just go into properties, go to details, remove properties and put personal details, remove all select all okay and okay let's do it again properties details remove remove from this one select all and okay all right i'll just go ahead and down through the line remove all properties modify these a little bit next video we will come back and we will start optimizing our photos any questions, I'm Chaz. Just hit us up. I'm here to answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching.